Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kiki. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified when I upload new videos because it seems that YouTube is doing some kind of flaky business where they're unsubscribing people from YouTubers. So just make sure you hit the subscribe button or make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair review. I haven't done one of these in so long and I was contacted by Kara Wigs. Kara Wigs is not an AliExpress company. They actually have a website which is called karawigs.com. But either way, they're still located in China, so the packaging probably will take around three to four days. Mine took about four days, and if I don't count Sunday, then it took three days to come, which is amazing because I hate waiting for stuff and I just, when I know I'm getting something, I get so excited and can't wait to wear it, can't wait to try it can't wait for anything so yeah three days is pretty fast for me this is the 360 lace unit um this is my first time actually wearing a 360 lace unit pretty much there's lace all around the perimeter of this unit and because this is a lace frontal it has about four inches of parting space which is more than enough as you guys can see because I do like a deep middle part especially if the hair is long so I was able to go back enough to get that look that I wanted so this is the box that it came in it says Kara natural virgin hair create your beauty so it just comes in a nice little box love the presentation and inside the box the wig came inside one of those nets and a plastic bag and it does come with uh, this little receipt and um, it tells you how you can return it if you're not satisfied with your unit for whatever reason and it gives you like the hair care instructions in cases like your first time purchasing a wig. The cap size that I chose is medium because I have like a small head and this fits perfect so I guess I chose the average size cap. And the lace on this unit is medium brown. The stocking cap that came inside the packaging, I thought it would be a little bit too dark for me. I was like, mm, I don't think that's going to work. And normally I don't wear stocking caps under my wigs, but I'm going to start doing that just to protect the wig from rubbing against my hair. Um, but the cap actually worked pretty fine. It worked out great. This texture of hair is Brazilian, I believe. Brazilian loose wave, I believe. But I will have all the specs down below. In the description box the unit itself is 22 inches and I got it in the color 1B this is like the natural color the natural texture now this is their loose wave hair as I mentioned and as you can see it's pretty defined when I took it out the box it was more defined than what it is but I actually ran my fingers through just to kind of separate some of the waves because I wanted the hair more um, bigger and I like a little bit of frizz because it gives it a little bit more personality and it just looks better to me in my opinion. Now this is a 250% density so the hair itself is already full and I do like this look and it's not heavy at all like when you think 250% density you think that it's going to be heavy but the hair itself is really lightweight soft and airy when i was contacted to do this review i was like i wanted 180 percent because i don't really care for uh wigs that are super duper thick because then it makes it look fake but this on the other hand is thick and full from uh the top to the bottom and it looks realistic pretty much i blow dried my hair and put my hair in some straight bags and i put on one of the caps that came inside of the box I just cut the lace off the wig and I applied it to my hair. Now this wig did come with baby hairs, which I pretty much cut off because, you know, the lace came pretty far down. And because I'm not bleaching my lace, it's not going to look right because the lace is not the exact color as my skin tone. So, yeah, I don't really fool around with the bleach and bleaching the knots and things like that. So I had to cut off the baby hairs. I tried to create some baby hairs, as you guys can see. I just used some of my um, to grow edge and curl paste just to lay down some of the baby hairs that I created. This side, I still need to work on. Like I wanna cut some more of the baby hairs and kinda like lay them down, but I don't want too much. I don't want it like too dramatic because then it start to look unnatural. So I think the amount of baby hairs that I have now, it looks pretty decent. And it is baby hairs all around the perimeter, just in case you wanted to wear your hair up. There's lace all like throughout the front, and you can part it wherever you want to part it at. Like if I wanted to part it on the side, 
like of course you would want to like tweeze some of the hair out and put some concealer so you can lighten it up but you can like do so many different styles with it um because there is lace all like in the front and all around the perimeter so you can like part it on the side you can part it in the middle or if you just want to shift your wig to the side because you already like created the part that you want you can do that as well i haven't washed this hair yet but the hair is super soft already so i can already imagine like once i wash it like co-wash it it's going to be even more softer i haven't had any shedding aside from where I cut the baby hairs off um, around the perimeter. That's the only shedding that I'm having from this unit. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn around so you guys can see what it looks like in the back. So this is the side and this is the back. So I'm really like feeling this hair. I really don't want to say that this hair is gorgeous because you guys can obviously see that for yourself but I have to say it, this hair is absolutely gorgeous. This is in my top five, dead or alive. If you guys want me to do my top five hair companies then make sure you thumbs up this, <laughs> I don't have a thumbnail. <laughs> Make sure you guys thumbs up this video and I will come back with my top five hair companies that I will recommend for you guys so that so that you're not wasting them coins. We don't need to be out here wasting coins. So I will be rocking this hair in other videos and showing you guys how I do other little styles with this. Like I do want to do like the little ponytails with the little two little buns. I think that's so cute or whatever. If I left out anything from this review, I will leave all the information down below to where you can purchase this hair from carawigs.com and I'll put like the link to this wig in case you just wanted to go straight to the wig. So let me know what you guys think about this unit. Do you like this unit? Um, I absolutely love it. So leave me your thoughts, comments down below and let's chat it up. Thank you to Kara Wigs for sending me this unit to try and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. See ya.